Yet another Donald Trump arrest now appears to be almost certain this summer. Let me explain the we've been seeing some of this news for a bit now. It now seems pretty clear. Vice News reports Trump's next criminal charge is practically on the calendar. Let me explain. Former this is from the article. Former President Donald Trump's second criminal indictment looks all but certain to go down this summer. You could even mark it on your calendar between June 11. I'm sorry, July 11 and September 1st. Why those dates? Because Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis, Fannie Willis, no matter how I pronounce it, someone writes to me saying I'm saying it wrong. Fannie Willis has formally asked local officials to beef up security during that window when she plans to announce charging decisions in her long running investigation of Trump's attempt to reverse his 2020 election defeat in Georgia. She wouldn't need all that extra security if she weren't planning to go after Trump himself, former prosecutors and legal experts say. Titus Nichols, an Atlanta area defense attorney and former prosecutor, said, quote, the Fulton DA's letter makes it almost certain that Trump is getting indicted. There is no reason to send something in writing, no other reason to the sheriff. So let me tell you what this is all about. Um, several weeks ago, uh, Fannie Willis's office did send a letter to the sheriff indicating uh, requesting additional security. Uh, during this next period uh, that will contain whatever decisions are made with regard to Trump and Georgia. That period of time is July 11 to September 1. And as former prosecutors, lawyers, others are saying, and as just casual observers of this are saying, why would she make that request? Were it not because there is going to be a decision made to arrest Donald Trump and that there is going to be a similar um, circumstance that plays out in Georgia as what we saw in New York City. I think that that's pretty likely. You know, the, if we want to make a sort of differential diagnosis of the facts, you could say, well, in order to not show her hand early, she is requesting the extra security regardless on the idea that there might be agitated people, whether or not Trump is charged or something along those lines. Maybe like maybe she says, well, if I charge Trump, his supporters will be furious and they might show up and be violent. And if I announce I'm not charging Trump, People who want him charged will show up and be violent. The, the reason that's hard to believe is we've seen no evidence. <laughs> There's no reason to believe or fear that people who think Trump should be charged are going to show up and be violent if he isn't charged. We just I just don't. There's no reason to think that that would happen. So I do think the most likely scenario is Trump is going to be charged in Georgia. This is not going to impact his existing supporters very much in all likelihood. The question is, is it going to impact Trump's ability to be out and campaigning if now, with another arrest, another indictment, another pending trial, if this all starts to get in the way of Trump being able to just go and campaign, it may start to make him an unappealing candidate. The counterpoint to that is there absolutely are MAGA people on the right, on the Republican uh, uh, in the Republican voting roles who will actually be energized if Trump is arrested again. They will feel that he is being scapegoated. They will feel that he is being you know, and remember, the keyword is feel. They will feel that he is being targeted for political reasons rather than he did things no former president has ever, ever, ever done. The Georgia case in particular is interesting because it is arguably where the, the most serious and most relevant charges may come from. And there are other prominent Republicans that are wrapped up and tangled in the Georgia mess, Lindsey Graham and so many others. It is not yet clear even whether or not Trump is charged and it looks like he will be. That may not be the full list. There may be even more Republicans charged. The fake elector scheme required dozens of highly placed people. So this could actually be a major, major takedown of a number of conservative figures speaking legally, of course. And as always, you all know, uh, I am for law and order and I actually am for law and order. If there is no evidence against someone, they should not be charged. I don't want anybody charged for political reasons, reasons of retribution, revenge or whatever the case may be. If there is no evidence, then do not charge people. What I want is for the justice system and for uh, the investigations to happen unfettered, unconstrained by political meddling or whatever the case may be. Look at the evidence, compare it to the laws and then make a charging decision that should apply to Trump. It should apply to Biden, Hunter Biden, Hillary, Obama, people who work uh, locally, people who dog walkers, McDonald's employees. This should be the standard that is always applied. And I am consistently for that. So the news is almost certainly Trump's getting arrested again. If and when it happens, we will have it for you.
It is the Friday show in the sense that it's Friday and this is the show. We will take a very quick break and continue right after this. I've had such trouble finding a great razor where I am not cutting myself or getting those nicks on my skin, which are so common with the cheap disposable razors. You have to meet our sponsor Henson Shaving. Henson actually manufactures parts for the International Space Station and the Mars Rover, and they are bringing that exact same precision engineering to the shaving experience. It hurts when you shave because blades extend too far and thus they wobble slightly. But with their aerospace grade CNC machines, Henson is able to make metal razors that extend just 0.0013 inches. That's less than the thickness of a human hair, which means a secure, stable blade with a vibration free shave. It also has built in channels to evacuate the hair and the cream. No more clogs, no more rubbing your thumb on the razor to get the hair out. I use Henson at home. Shaving is a great experience now. Henson wants to be the best razor, not the best razor business, which means you only need to buy it once and it's awesome. Go to hensonshaving.com slash Pacman, add a razor and a hundred pack of blades to your cart, then enter the code Pacman to get the hundred blades for free. That is a three year supply. The link is down below.